you know, mm. the wokest players bring their own little adapters so that they can plug their headphones in. Because yeah, because that is that is it's like ten bucks, and then you never ever have to worry about the event having issues. You just run them yourself. You need help? Yo yo, here we go. Getting into it. Oh, I actually have to switch the teams. They're they're the opposite of what they are. Oops. Anime balloon is red team, and ding dong the witch is dead is blue team. Alrighty. Oh lord. Yep. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Vapor uh, still rocking the bayonetta despite all the nerfs, despite all the top level bayonetta's dropping here for her for her nerfs. Uh, oh. Still wanting to go Bayonetta just because he loves Bayonetta. He loves playing her. See, I'm a, I'm a fan of that. You know, you just you play play who's fun. Yeah. You know, screw tier lists. You don't need a tier list. Mm. You don't need to play who's good, because the better player is going to win nine times out of ten anyway. Or I guess ten times out of ten, but right. you know. So red team actually with the dominant stage control right now. Crom and Robin, an unlikely pairing if you ask me. <laughs> actually no no actually this this could be canon pairing. This is definitely canon pairing. Yeah. But yeah. in the in the context of Smash Bros this is unlikely. That's very fair, yeah. Yeah, um All right, I'm going to step off. Okay, sounds good. Um, oh Later Croy. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there is. Yo, so Red oh, Team was no, doing no. a real good job earlier of commanding the stage, but now they're the ones who lose their first stocks. Mm, yeah. Blue Team, Blue Team doing Blue team some... Blue Team is at high percent, though. So. Oh, yeah, but Blue Team Blue Team's putting in some mad work, though. Alright, good cover by PK, Billigan, Incineroar. Nice kill! Oh, yeah, that was hefty. Oh. Well, Bayo does best, gets the upper combo. Well, in this game, she kills offside now. She does kill offside. Yo, that was a sick parry by Phantomire. It He didn't get anything off of it, and, but, I mean, he gets that edge guard. Oh, Phantomire, you gotta save your buddy. Oh. Yeah. One of Robin's problems, she's a little slow. Oh, she's so slow. And if she she's didn't so have Thoron charged, she was in that awkward spot of Thoron not being charged, but Arc Thunder being charged, which is really slow. Yep. So she had no way of helping. Alright, but as long as Phantom can really stock tank right here, there is a chance of them having a good comeback. <laughs> but PK is at a high percent on his last stock, so he's going to have to put in... Yeah, that good F smash right there. Phantom limb 152 actually. Nice F smash again. Oh man, Phantom R gets clotheslined by Incineroar. Very satisfying move. Oh, both of them get hit by that F smash. Can we talk about how absolutely terrifying Incineroar is to play against? Oh like, my god. Oh, yo, the suplex, though. Just like that, he just breaks your back. Dude, I know. It's insanity. Especially if he has, like, oh my god, oh he's my doing god, it! He went for it. Why would he do that? Because it was hype. You see that? Look at him flexing. Him flexing in the end. Like, he just flexed, man. That's what he does. He flexing on him. He's so big. Taunts after every hit. Taunts with his kills. He's just, he's nutty. I wish I wasn't. I wish I was as awesome as Incineroar, honestly. Yeah. This character actually like embodies Dylan. He always wants to be a crowd pleaser. Incineroar always wants to be a crowd pleaser. Yo, PC in the building. Shoutouts to Burglar and Clumsy for showing up today. Yo, let's go, PC. Yo, we got people in here. We get more people in here. You gotta pack it in? That's, that's cool, man. Alright, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see where the counter pick's gonna be at. As soon as they're done, just go grab your stuff. Sounds good. Yeah. Alright, looks like FD is gonna be the pick here, so. I think that. Yeah, that's a good counter pick for Robin and. Yo, know, Phantom goes Snake as soon as. As soon as he's like, yo, let's play FD, I'm going with Snake. Okay. Oh, man. Who are they going to play? They're uh, discussing I, it, I think. Yeah. Uh, there might there might be a chance of the PK Jigglypuff coming out here. Yo, for real? Yeah, you for think real. PK's going to play JP? Oh, no, he's sticking crown. I really he's wanted crown. to see it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 
Jigglypuff's always been really good in doubles, so you never know when it's gonna come out. Yo, Inky. <laughs> Let's go, Inky. Yo. All right, so we got Inkling in here. It gets a little confusing when everyone's ink because you, if you just look at the silhouettes, it's like yeah, everyone, especially where it's like a uh, blue team is gonna get the ink on them, and then they're gonna look like Inkling. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's very confusing. Oh shoot. All right, so we got a blue team with a commanding lead. Yeah. So Crom with the poor recovery could not make it back from there. It's one of his major weaknesses, even though he's really good on stage. Mm -hmm. But let's see if they... Oh, and you can't tell right now because... He has revenge. Yeah, I... but you can't tell because of the ink. I know, right? He might have lost it, though. Oh, it doesn't look no. like it. It doesn't look he like did. it. Oh, oh. What's that down smash? Not actually going to oh. hit much, but he's going to die to God. Incineroar. Incineroar hits so hard. PK Adrian just got deleted there, man. All right, so... Look at this big boy go! I'm not sure if this switch was really worth it right here. I mean, like... But I think the blue team's just playing, like, a lot better right now. Well, I mean, it's just so scary when you die at, like, 55 or 80 to Incineroar stuff, right? Yeah. And he just he just runs up, and he, he tries to get hit by hitboxes so he can get the revenge in there. Oh, that up smash, not going to kill, though. Yo, I love how he hits the up smash, and then he does the big flex. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, suplexes him off stage. Trying to back his oh, teammate up. Oh, darkest lariat coming out here. Yo, that lariat was heavy duty. All right, so let's PK see where Adriel. Brian can take this chain. PK Adriel at 164. It's not looking good for our hero. Oh, oh no. he gets hit by the forward throw. That's a game knowledge, like that's a game knowledge thing where that won't happen once the game is like older. You know what I mean? Yeah. As, as we go on, people are gonna. I I would have got hit by that too, because I don't know where the hitbox starts or finishes on Incineroar's uh, Incineroar's throw. Yeah, it seemed like enough time would have passed, but he has the revenge. He's gonna do it on his partner, Rexel. Yo, 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 he did wreck him. He did wreck him. Uh. Squid of the game does have team outlines, um, from what I can see. It's just... Oh, oh. no! That down smash catches Yeah, it got Inkling. extended off of Incineroar. And Ding Dong, the witch is dead. Takes it 2-0 over Anime Balloon. Anime Balloon with a valiant effort there. I wonder why their name is Anime Balloon, though. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. But if you think Robin and Krom are kind of anime. Yeah. Kind of, so that uh, kind of works. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we got a treat for you. Got Black Christmas. Uh, on stream, we got Black Christmas, which is Gronk and Croy. Black Christmas? And that's the way the cookie crumbles, which is Weem and Lamb. Yo, Black Christmas versus that's the way the cookie crumbles. So we got Gronk and Croy versus Weem and Lamb. So for the most part, I seen Lamb using Pichu earlier. Yo, let's do it. So... I'm not really sure if he's gonna stick with that. But Me either, but that's hype. Pikachu, Pikachu's pretty hype. Yeah, that's hype. The thunder hype. can kill at like 40 if you hit that like near edge. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Down tilt, up tilt, thunder is like crisp kill confirms. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, 